What is going on, lads? What's the crack? Welcome back to your weekly news roundup for eFootball 2023. So there isn't much going on today as we are introduced to a couple of new player selections. There is a new campaign uh, that has started and this is kind of like a pre-campaign, as they say, a pre-season campaign for the football festival. So the football festival is actually going to be kicking off in November. So season two is slated to begin in November in 13 days. So obviously, when you kind of peel back and uh, look at a couple of the, the extra layers that they have with the information here, a couple of things start to, to line up, right? So this is an actual pre-season login campaign that it says we are running to a login campaign where you can earn items to further develop your dream team. You log in the game seven times during each campaign period and get up to 140,000 trainer points. Slated to begin in November, the team for season two will be the football festival, which is obviously going to tie in with the World Cup mode or the World Cup event that is happening in real life football. As we excitedly await the start of the new season, we are holding a special in-game campaign. Enjoy the football festival even more with special login bonuses and event rewards. So there you have it, right? So you're going to be getting on your first day, which is today, and you log in today you're going to be getting 10,000 trainer points tomorrow you're going to be getting two of those which is 20 the next day you're going to get 30 and then Thursday and Friday you get 30 each and then you also get one on uh, Saturday and one on Sunday so for a total of 140,000 right you can only obtain each login bonus once per day. So as normal, don't forget to claim in your inbox, which we will do in a second. But as I said, right, so this is ending in 13 days. Well, you know, 13 days from now is practically two weeks. So two weeks from now, based on my calculations, is going to be uh, what? The 31st is next week, and then we are on the 7th of November. So the 7th of November, this event is going to end. So I would reckon then that either that Thursday or else that Monday, probably the Thursday. So you're talking about maybe the 10th um, of November, uh, where are the... Yeah, the 10th of November, you're probably talking about the new event starting and the new update coming in around that date. So yeah, I'm expecting a big update for that. I don't know how they're going to actually launch season two because the way that these kind of like um, press releases and statements and kind of like the way they're talking about it there as we ex excitedly await the start of the new season, uh, I mean, they're obviously not talking about the new football season. I think they're talking about the actual new season of eFootball 2023 in terms of season two. Obviously, season one was called new season kickoff with new player types and licenses. This is going to be called the football festival. Now, we also do get in here, we also do get new contracts for new players, right? So there is a couple of special players in here. I think this would be rounded off as well. We've got Turkey. Um, there's some nice players in there. We will do a player review on that as well. We've got a couple of uh, a couple of hidden gems in there that could be could be good. And then we also do have the rest of these. So I think that what they'll probably do is looking at this, right? This is going to be ending in 16 days. Well, 17 days realistically. So that kind of lines up with what I'm saying on the 10th of November. If you go back to when season one for eFootball 23, launched this was a very good indicator as to how the transition was going to be worked over so i would reckon that you know monday the 7th of november we're going to have a bit of maintenance as normal to upgrade things and then you know three days later on the thursday or four days later on the thursday we are going to have the you know the new kind of season launching so season two will launch and then i think you'll have all your login stuff you'll have your players that are going to be carried over you're going to have your database updates you're going to have your squad updates you're going to have your stats update you're going to have a big update for that as well as i would imagine if I had to predict, I would say graphics, I would say modes, and I would say gameplay. That's kind of where I would think this would need to go. Um, so yeah, we will get into that again in a little bit uh, in another video of kind of my thoughts and hopes for that and what needs to be fixed and stuff because I know you guys enjoy uh, kind of maybe we'll do a live stream I am planning on doing a live stream for the 20,000 sub mark if we do get there please if we do get there it would be amazing achievement uh, for me personally I would love to get to 20,000 subscribers um, but yeah we keep doing what we do and uh, go from there but we do have a club selection from Napoli as well I will be doing a player review on these players as well there is a couple of nice players in there Zelensky obviously is going to be one to watch Kratzkilia Kavratskilia um or is it Kratsk Helia? I'm not too sure. And uh, Osman. Os Osman? Osman. Yeah, I need to work on my pronunciations, man. I need to actually like just sit down and learn them. 
But uh, yeah, there's a Napoli agent there as well, which is quite good. We've two days left in the Epic Legend, and then we do have one more event uh, that has been added, which is a J League event, I think, in the Dream Team. There's no real patch notes. There's no real anything else. Uh, it is pretty much just those two packs. We do have this J League AI match uh, tour event that we can play. We can sim. You get a three star nominating contract, and then the rest of the stuff is there as normal, which will rinse and repeat on Thursday. Uh, the Italian League, the AFC Champions League, and the Worldwide Club event that is online, they will all rinse and repeat Thursday. We also have an offline AFC Champions League one as well. So yeah, that is it for your weekly roundup, lads. Let me know what you uh, think about it. We do, as I said, have the football season. Uh, the new season two kicking off um i nearly have four million i haven't spent i don't think i think i've only spent like two hundred thousand gp the rest has come from like actually playing the game um i probably need to get maybe i'm hoping that they will add a couple of new players with the with the with the shop bonus that you can buy with the e-football points but yeah as I'm just kind of thinking here, I do think that that, ter that 13, 14 days from now, uh, we will be having a brand new kind of, you know, we will have brand new information. I'm very interested to see what they're going to add in November for the football festival. I know that there's rumors around. I know that there's lots of people saying this and lots of people saying that as always. Um, but yeah, I mean, we will talk about it in a future video, but I definitely think uh, it's it's going to be it's it's going to need to be a big update because you know as as FIFA kind of opens up its legs and you get the release of a lot of games that are going to be taking people's attention coming into that Christmas uh, period you know you're going to have God of War out uh, you've the new Gotham Knights out you've new COD coming out you've got a lot of new updates for games coming out um, and then obviously FIFA will be opening its stride as well as it goes into the World Cup event that they're adding on so yeah I will be very interested to see I mean I would love to see an offline um you know an offline and an online kind of like a shared uh, you know world cup event that you could literally have uh you know maybe a last 16 or something like that or well i know that the world cup works differently with the groups but if you could do like you know like a match lobby for that and have your own kind of custom world cup online or offline um it will be quite it will be quite decent uh where we could really customize all our stuff but yeah um we will see later on in the week i will have a video up on that but yeah that is it for me lads don't forget to log in today and uh check back later on the channel we will be having the player reviews up if you guys are interested in that as well as this week we have got planned a couple of more dream team chronicles we've got subscriber showdown returning some night this evening and we've got a couple of hidden gems and a couple of squad builders so yeah still aiming for that you know one or two uploads a day as we continue to grind to twenty thousand uh, subscribers so yeah Hope you guys had a good weekend. I will talk to you later. Thanks for checking it out. Peace.